Good afternoon, fellow punters. Mickey D with you here on Sunday afternoon, just gone two o'clock with a few selections for tomorrow. Um, I was a bit late getting back with the answers and the comments. Uh, on, I didn't get back until Saturday morning. I got a rush of blood to the head on Friday evening and uh, tore off on the bus uh, to Galway for their monthly um, poker game. It's 150 uh, the uh, euro freeze out um those 12k guaranteed um there was a massive crowd when i arrived about a quarter past eight they were just opening up the seventh table uh i thought it was in las vegas to see all the dealers that all new uh, outfits on them um patrick callahan runs a great ship there a very friendly crowd very friendly dealers and the waiters just looks after us really well uh there was over 15k in the prize pool altogether and happy to tell you that at uh, just gone five o'clock in the morning there was three of us left and uh, myself and a local lad there kevin and a uh, lad from kinvara he's a painter and decorator i can't remember his first name so we done a three-way deal three-way chop uh 2350 cash each and a 250 euro ticket for the next big freeze out on the 2nd of june so it's a great night, it was a great stroke of luck. Uh, I ran pretty well, even from the first hand. Uh, the blinds were won 300 and uh, I was in the small, I was in the big blind. Uh, it was raised to eight and I uh, flopped two pair, fours and twos. So uh, he bet into me and he bet on the turn and he bet on the river and I raised him then and he called me. Uh, he had a pocket pair, I think Jacks or Queens or something. But uh Kings held up and I, I had a great run all night. Lucky, you know, if you know, made the right calls at times and shoved at the right time. So uh, all in all, a great night. So we're looking going back there again shortly to see the lads up there. Um, as a result, yesterday I was in bed from half eight just in the morning until about ten, and then I had to go to a funeral in uh, Carrick Macross in the afternoon yesterday evening. So I didn't see the end of the race, but I did see. That Sam Rogue was pulled out, and I did see that Prashima ran a great race for us, uh, even though it drifted out to 10 to 1. Uh, surely there's a race on that soon. It was just a bit uh, not fit enough, um, not run since uh, November. So hopefully uh, we'll pick up a race with that. Severance was gambled on from 12 the night before, 8 yesterday morning to 4 to 1 favourite. Ran really well, traded 4 to 6 and running, finished second to a reformed in Golo. And uh, Hunting Town ran no sort of a race for us. Obviously, the race came too soon for him again. He runs well fresh. The one I was afraid of won it, Cashy 11 to 1. I had a reverse forecast, so I didn't collect. And uh, I didn't see the last race then. I didn't have time yet today to look back on it because it was late back last night from that funeral. We had a few pints at the Mart Bear in uh, Carrick McCross, in which a good friend of mine, uh, John Joe Cunningham. So John Joe's in great form. Um, so the bus yesterday, there was a nice crowd on it, uh, leaving Galway. Um, Alan Carroll had enjoyed his few days in Galway. and He was first on. Tom Leach was telling us that he had two wins and two seconds uh, in uh, two races. And he didn't say that he had the reverse forecast, though. Darren Seddon as well had pulled 1,500 uh, on a lucky 15. And it would have been 8K, he said, if he had won it. Uh, Sir Cavan... Landed in top hat and tails, dressed out really well. He was just, said he was che uh, checking it out for uh, Ascot. And happy birthday today to uh, Christina Davis. Rob the old mongoose and Craig had a lovely cake baked for her as she boarded the bus. And she told us that Al Easy was going, or Al Easy was going to win the 220 yesterday, which it did. So she got her birthday money. Tomorrow, uh, the 220 at Musselboro, Philly's Handicap, Queen's Fair. It's a four-year-old filly out of Dan Silly. It's owned by Chivalry Park Stud and it's trained by David O'Meara. Uh, it's rated 67. Her two sisters, uh, Queen's Trust and Royal Fair, were rated 118 and 95 as four-year-olds. She's only rated 67. She had three runs on the flat in uh, over the goo and she was entered in Beverly in April, but whatever happened, I don't know, and there was no excuse given. She was withdrawn just before post time. So a month later, uh, she's running again. First run on the turf. There has to be a race in her because they'll be wanting to, for breeding purposes, so they'll have to get a win into her. Uh, there is a 
she is second favourite, I think. Um, I haven't the prices up yet, but I have two point win on that. Um, in the seven twenty at Southall or Southwell, whichever you want to call it, tomato tomato, Coast Guard Station, a six year old out of Dylan Thomas, it bolted up in a maiden hurl over the course and distance and his third run for the new trainer Henry Oliver. It was formerly trained in Ireland by Sam Curling. It's rated one hundred and ten. It looks to be progressive. It's worth a two pound win bet. Um, I see it's two to one favourite, but uh, there's a couple of there that's lurking. But uh, the way it won the last day suggests that there's more ability in it, and uh, I hope to see it uh, having back to back wins. Um, the race they're on in Roscommon tomorrow in Linnaban, and I was going to it. I'm, I'll be missing the first two, but when when I'm finished the bus run, I'll be going up to it. Um, I was looking around. It's a tricky enough card as always in Roscommon on the flat. Um, but in the 7.30, the last race, there's a horse there, Alice Diamond, uh, a three-year-old filly out of Dawn Approach. It was fifth on a, f- a first run in a handicap to show it has the ability to pick up a small handicap. Um, it was put up four pounds, actually, for finishing fifth. The reason why is it got a bad run on the rail. There was a, a young um, Joyce, the seven-pound claimer. Well, it wasn't his fault. He sort of couldn't get out, and he tried, and he didn't get there, but he wasn't awfully busy. So uh, up four pounds for that from, uh, I think, 47 to 51. Um, Wayne Lorden has taken over tomorrow. Uh, so I expect a good run from that. You know, in each way, bet at, at, it's, on the probable SP showing us five or six to one. Noel Mead does well in Roscommon. Uh, in, in last year, in the 21 season, he had eight runners on the flat and two winners. In 2019, he had nine runners on the flat, and he had three winners. You know, so that's 33%, and it's um, 25%. Um, he has two horses as well running tomorrow that's worth the look. Uh, two Bright is running, a course winner at one last year, but the real deal is in that race. And uh, that's raised 145 over hurls, and it's 70-odd on the flat. So if that if the money was down, Ronan McNally, if he, he doesn't leave it in the bookies satchels, he no more than us all, he loves bookies money. Just keep an eye on that if it's strong in the market. Um The Model Kingdom is another runner as well tomorrow evening for Noel Mead, and that uh, is three for three over bumpers. It won a grade three mirrors bumper in Punchestown in this last run. Um and it won a, a listed bumper before that. Now Obviously, they're probably thinking of Galway, a handicap or something, because they're putting it out so quick. It's only 12 days ago since it ran in uh, Punchestown. So it's a mile and a four. Joseph O'Brien has one there. Um, all right, but that showed a good turn of foot the last day. The Model Kingdom, that could be worth the bet as well in the 6.30. Um, so the, and if we're, if we're going all right, at the end of the day, the 8.20 at Southern, there's a harsh run in there, the whist, Whistling Gypsy uh, for the Skeletons. Uh, it's a mare up against the boys, which had a great run the last day in the 50k race in Musselboro that Cubs win won. So tread carefully. Like through, It's a Monday, so I don't like losing money on a Monday. But if we're going all right by the end of the day, and that's the last race at night, you could have a, a, a pint each way on that as well, you know, at the last race. But uh, just be cautious. Uh, if Don't go chasing. If you're down... Don't go after it. I never chase. So there's a selection tomorrow. I want to go for my dinner. And uh, thanks very much for all the comments over the weekend. I was late getting back uh, yesterday morning. And I had the, it was a few hours on the phone trying to upload. on going to Galway on Friday night. So uh, And then I, I just concentrated on the care. I didn't put on the phone at all. Uh, the Kentucky Derby uh, was won by uh, 80 to 1. Drawn in 20. Unreal stuff. That guy, the trainer, lost 24 horses in a fire in 2016, so I was delighted for him. And the jockey first rated, graded race to win a, um, a race of such prestige. Anyway, I'll be back uh, with two for Tuesday that I've picked out, and then York starts on Wednesday, so we'll be getting a lot of homework into that for the next few, few days. Mickey D, over and out, bash the bookies.